What's going on everybody, Slime Dutchman here and today I have part 3 of my second drift day. Um, in this video I have uh, like two different camera angles from one outside of the car, same as I did on like Spock is run. And one on the side window of the car so you can basically see this side of the car. You'll see it. Um, it was the end of the day, so I was getting a lot more comfortable with the e-brake and the, the car, the new steering wheel, everything. Uh, so I tried to push it a little bit harder, which resulted in some really nice corners, but also still a few fills, because when you're taking risk or, or just looking for the limits, you're, you're, you're bound to cross them at one point. Um, me personally like this third part of the video the most because it's just there was real progression especially if you look at the last drift day video uh, the handbrake gives you so much more option of just flicking it in and start the initiation earlier instead of um, not really be able to to flick it in really early and now you can slide on, in on the handbrake so we're just gonna cut in where we left off um, I think when we did the passenger rides and then I was taking over. So enjoy watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, more content on the drift build is coming up for sure. Uh, going in next is the angle kit and I will think some other little small mods. And after that, it's off for the visual department. Um, so please also like the video if you liked it. Uh, give any comments, just feedback. Whatever, I just really appreciate it, uh, all the, the positive feedback, but also the hints, tips, tricks, whatever you guys have. Um, so, I won't bother you anymore. Enjoy the video. Till next time. Peace. So now we're going back on track, giving the handbrake a good run for its money, and see if I can munge the straight and link the whole track up, because that was initially the, initially the, the goal for, for today to do, so. Yeah, let's uh, chill a little bit, have something to drink, and then uh, next session.
I guess second to last session because I need to refuel and almost end of the day so I'm gonna do one more small session on the normal layout unfortunately I think the camera the battery of my GoPro died so uh, you just missed the last section but I will end it at it in <laughs> but I will just edit it in here because uh, uh, Spock has got the clips from his phone from inside the car. But I, I saw was... something nice coming. I was really creeping up on those Volvos and doing my real first tandem. I mean, it was like uh, two, three meters proximity. That was close. Something man. like yeah, just creeping up, uh, creeping up on them. It was really cool. I had to um, film out of the side window because it was so close. Yeah, so I have now my other battery in. Uh, do some final laps and I think call it a day because it's now. How late is it? Uh, three. No, half past four. Half past what? Three thirty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we have like a little bit over half an hour, hour, I think. I don't usually. know, they said five, so. so I don't know. One yeah, last time they said five, but they stopped at like 4 30 or something. We'll see. So, um, go up one more time, charge the battery up, have fun. <laughs>
So hopefully my GoPro was catching the last bit because at the end of the day I was ripping over the track just uh, connecting sections even getting close to the tandems I mean I call them tandems so there were some proper tandems like few meters proximity two meters even I mean he even scraped your bumper he yeah he basically brushed my bumper uh, the Volvo that was behind me he was kind of following me <laughs> they, were, they were also like uh, nice going so uh, I'll take that as a compliment for my second uh, ever drift day uh, a lot of people has just packed up because they just roll the car onto the trailer and they're off. Uh, for me, I just still need to swap my wheels and then I can go back to my home and he can go back to Germany, which is, uh, well, I need to, I need to save fuel for the next, next tank stop. Otherwise we could have done a race since it's <laughs> from here exactly one minute and, uh, no, one hour and 29 minutes. Yeah. Three percent, something like that. Like so, that, yeah, like that. Almost um, exactly in the middle. Yep. Anyways, I really enjoyed my first drift day. Handbrake, uh, love it. I had to get used to it. Like really, I had to pull it and not just be gentle as what the play seat is. Just, it's simple, just spring loaded. That's the way we we yeah. made it. Uh, steering wheel was a bit getting used to, but. I don't want it any different because it's a little bit uh, smaller so it's easier to like flick around and, and do that, give that a little bit extra angle that you need uh, to prevent yourself from spinning out but uh, yeah. It was a good day, it was a fun it was, day. It was a fucking good day man, it's only getting better. Um, it even I mean, dried up in the end, like I can no rain anymore. Yeah, and I think I can practice a bit more here and get even better, uh, get more comfortable and more controlled, like more consistent. But maybe we will start looking for a drift day at Midland Circuit, which is more of a inlay uh, layout on a oval, or like you drift at one corner. And yeah. More. There's a wall though, so no time, no no place for error. <laughs> but I wouldn't fly into it like I do here. No nah, man. The only, the only, every time we spin out and go off course, it's why when we fly in too hard because we come off the yeah. the straight from the bungee. And then you fuck it at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if there what would have been a wall, I would have crashed my car five times, I six think, times, uh, four or five times at <laughs> least. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. For now, I want to thank each and everyone for watching. If you want to see more of this footage, because there's gonna be a lot more coming. Angle kit still needs to be installed. Um, also, game related drift footage. Basically, everything cars and drifting goes. Game, real life, whatever. If you want to see more of that please subscribe if you haven't um, uh, the guy that I was with uh, Daniel please check out his channel because he is doing a lot more professional edited videos than I do with music and everything um, yeah. uh, he was yeah just driving my car for a little bit but uh, he wasn't driving so he was shooting a lot of footage check out his channel it's in the comments uh, in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.